ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमात फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट द यूजेज ऑफ मल्टीमीटर विद इन दी डी सी एस ई लेब सिमुलेटर सो फॉर एट वी नीड टू ड्रेग अवर मल्टीमीटर ऑन दी मेन प्लेटफॉर्म विंडो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव ए कम्प्लीट जी वाई ऑफ मल्टीमीटर अवेलेबल it is the best gui as compared to other softwares like proteus or multisim now how you can use it the basic properties of the multimeter are to measure the ac and dc voltages apart from ac to dc voltages it also used to measure dc current and the resistance range that is if you want to measure the resistance of any resistor it is there to measure it okay now how we can use it first we will try it with the measurement of dc you can see that there is mentioned 3 volt dc to 1000 volt dc so okay when there is 3 volt dc when there is 3 volt dc uh when there is no, when the knob is on 3 volt dc so we can see that the maximum range on the on the gauge is 3 and the minimum is 0 so if we want to measure the 1.5 volt battery voltage then we need to connect it with the ports of the multimeter although we can measure the same battery voltage with the 12 volt dc but uh, in that way we are not so much accurate like now here you can see that we can drag our prods of the multimeter with negative side on negative side of the battery and positive side on positive side of the battery and you can see that it is showing us 1.5 the needle is just on the 1.5 now if we want to uh, move the knob on 12 volt dc now now you can see that uh, it is not it is on 1.5 but it is not so much accurate as with 3 volt dc because we can even see some sort of minor voltages fluctuation or like that okay so it's better to measure to measure the level or to measure the voltages of the battery in the range which is suitable so okay now now we need to change the voltage of the battery okay okay now we need to change the okay what's the problem and wait okay it's so opening ads so we need to wait for some time because it is the demo version okay now now you can see that we can increase the battery voltages and the multimeter will show them as accordingly and the deflection of the meter is very good now you can see that uh, it is showing us okay now if you want to change it to 12 volt dc then okay so okay so it is now we are changing the battery voltages and it is showing us on the multimeter now this thing and up to 12 volt okay so in this way you can measure the voltages of the battery okay apart from it we have there is ac voltage source okay so for it you can see that because ac voltages are always fluctuating so you must have to yes so you must have to okay now we can see that the whole gauge is showing up to 12 volt and here it is showing 1.5 volt on the ac voltage as well as on the meter it is showing us the 
so it is showing as very really accurate but if you want to change the okay so if you want to change the uh, voltages of the uh, AC source we can do it like uh, if you want to do it like 50 so for 50 volts okay now we need to move over gauge as well okay it will it is showing us the 36.6 i think it is showing rms and these are the uh, what's called is the peak value okay meters are supposed to show the rms value which is always less than the peak ac voltage so we want to again we are supposed to change the battery voltage to 100 and now it will be like 73 or like this okay it's like 70 or 69 70 okay so now 100 is peak and 70 and 69 is the rms so it is showing us very right okay now this is for our ac source and if you want to measure the resistance of any thing although it is not where we, we have to go for our what's called as the potentiometer okay, now we need to connect it with like that so it is showing 5 ohm so if we are going to move it out we can see that our resistance is increasing why it is so because potentiometer is a variable resistor so 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 it used to and it is 1k potentiometer because we are getting around 999 ohm, ohm value so it is 1k potentiometer so in this way you can measure both the voltages and uh, what's called as the ohm okay with the multimeter now what about current yes we can measure the current like uh, if we have battery here this is battery okay and if we have what's called is the lamp okay we need to move it out like this and like this okay now our uh, lamp is on and if you want to measure the current then we have to move the gauge to 3 ampere so it is it's showing it is showing that we are having 1.5 ampere why it is why we have connected it like this and all are in series why it is so because our battery and our load our working element and multimeter all must be in series in order to measure the current okay they must be in series in voltage the multimeter must be in parallel while in current because current always used to flow from every point so in series current the current must be equal on every point so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use the multimeter within the dc ac lab simulator so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe